Me, you have to film this stuff. <laughs> okay, June 11, 2002, uh, the progress that we have made since yesterday uh, is that here in the north central space of the western part of the house, we have finally found a floor, a nice white, uh, white plastered floor, which is this surface here that, is, that has been exposed only in this area. On that floor, we can see uh, still remains of the massive packing that we have been removing ever since we came, began excavation this year. And this floor goes to the bins and possibly under the bins. We don't know. We will see that later when we clean it. And uh, the thing about this floor is that it is the phase two floor in this part of the house. Um, nothing special. Uh, then we continued work in the southwest corner of the house and finally the massive packing on top of uh, platform 169 has been completely removed and now there is just one thin layer of that packing that's sticking to the surface of the plaster surface which we will remove as a separate uh, sample and uh, then the platform will be much whiter and nicer. And um, then, if Slovo let us, we can see what has been done here when the floor and the packing of the top floor, uh, I mean bottom floor of, the, of phase two was removed here with its packing, the stuff that I have been just talking about. Uh, it, it came all the way to the oven, the feature 785, and it uh, um, went up the lip, up the side of the uh, oven, and now that has been removed, and we can see an earlier face of the oven as well, and also the feature in front of the oven, which is our feature 789, and it's uh, the air ash area, ash collection area, and rakeout area, as they call it. And we are still thinking about this uh, hole here in the middle of that feature, which uh, was, it was suggested to us uh, would be, could be something similar to what uh, was discovered in building 17 in the south area, and that is an obsidian cache. But this, if this were, were obsidian cache, it was emptied before we got to it. And we have had a similar idea for this cut in the platform that was completely empty and filled with clean fill that it could have been uh, an emptied obsidian cache. Um, so what can, what can I say about the, this floor? So this floor uh, um, would be floor from phase one. And so finally, we are in the same phase here in this corner as in the rest of the house, apart from the area that I have just talked about, which is from um, Platform 169 along the west wall all the way to the northwest corner. That's still phase two. And actually, the packing from phase three. Okay, that's that. Now, what Dragon is doing here, she's trying just to uh, follow this top floor from uh, the platform all the way into the kitchen area. And then, uh, because they do go together, we can see that the uh, uh, floor layers, the plaster goes uh, from the kitchen onto the platform or the other way around, from the platform into the kitchen. Let's go. Just general shot. I have no idea why this is covered, but we will uncover. Oh, <coughs> bones, that's right. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Space 89, we just continue doing the same as we have been doing in the last um, three or four days. Uh, what now turns out to here in the center of the space is remains of a feature that was removed and redeposited here. Obviously, it's not in situ. It's not connected to any floor. It could be uh, a half or part of an oven floor, oven base, or even some sort of bin. But but it's most likely something to do with fire and oven. Uh, 
judging by all these burn marks. But it is of, made of soft clay and was not baked well through use and therefore it's not very solid. So it was dumped here with the rest of the, the building materials that we have been removing and we can see also a brick on top of it, fragmented brick. Um, there is an animal bone, a, la a bigger size animal bo bone that was discovered here along with, as I mentioned yesterday, a lot of obsidian fragments and the small size bones and stuff like that. Okay. Here we are looking at <coughs> uh, space 87, and we are looking at our burial. And can you tell us, Basha, what are the burial cut and burial fill numbers? Just quickly. Oh, sure. um, the feature number is 1002. Okay. And the unit number is 8385. Okay. Fill. Okay, and so this is the burial in which there are at least two individuals, right? And we yes. can even see elements of a skull that, uh, where teeth are. And um, all the bones have been uh, a sort of, they are not in a proper, um, what do we call it? Anatomical, Anatomical position, that's right. Thing. But uh, what happened to this burial, we don't know. Something interesting happened to it because we had the bones of, uh, human bones also outside of the burial. So we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 